Hello and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I am Decepticon Rampage, and uh, it is now time to finish off our lingering side quests uh, before we head off to the final trial and basically the end game. So uh, our first stop is to acquire the old uh, Dodo's Party Wheel. And that will be found here in the desert. Thankfully, it doesn't require a whole lot of uh, wandering around to find, so if we drop into the desert entrance, that will be the closest spot to where we need to be. boop a doop a doo Alright, and... Just for a little scenery change, let's revert this area to the past. Actually, I think you have to, because otherwise there's no uh, no vines for you to climb right here. But this will get you up to this area here, and if we follow the path around, there is a little ledge we can make our way across. And I wonder if you can actually make it all the way with without uh, the stamina fruit. It looks like you only hit maybe three quarters. Um, but if we follow this path around, we will come to the party wheel. <laughs> the highly unusual man. Yes, yes, he was very strange. Yep, yep, call the douchebag. We're going to be seeing a lot of him in this, in this, probably this in the next episode. <clears throat> Just because, yeah, he, he is a douche. I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. And he doesn't like me, so we have a, mu a mutual dislike for each other. I wouldn't call it hatred, but... Yeah, yeah, just do your job, stupid robot. Bloody, 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 blah. Whatever. That would be the idea there, Fee. Fee, fi, fo, fum. And I think it's quicker just to go back around the way we came. Doop a doop a doo. And then hopefully. <laughs> Um, the mini game that you unlock by completing the side quest. I'm really hoping that it'll go smoothly because I have very mixed success when it comes to it. I, I think uh, when I was just playing it earlier on on the old on ye old practice file, I uh, think it took me like four tries to get the 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 score I need to get the heart piece of heart. I did make uh, a decent chunk of change, though, in the in the meantime. So, I think I think I made like in total like 850 rupees. So I was like, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good, pretty good. Not gonna complain. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. And I think that's behind me. Yes, in fact, it is. 180. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> lots of lots of seeing the robot and uh, lots of flying in this in this episode. I'm sure. Again, depending on how long the uh, the mini game takes. Alright, let's give this guy his stupid party wheel back so he can be not depressed anymore. Will do, Mr. Roboto. Ugh. 
You know, really, this guy just doesn't fit with the rest of the aesthetic in the game. It's like, I just, I don't know. Okay, fun, fun island thing. Yeah, whatever. Give me your gratitude crystals, and then hopefully you'll be able to quickly give me a piece of heart. So, and a bunch of rupees. We can hope. We can hope. Fifty-five. So I think I quote. I think I mentioned in another episode that I thought that I, I thought there was only sixty of those. There's eighty actually, and um. So that leaves us with five more bundles of five to get, and I believe that should be the number of side quests we have left to go. So, yep, give me give me free play. Yeah, you know, I don't need. I, I basically, if you don't want to read this, it's get a shot get a shot out of a cannon, and then you have to uh, free fall and go through rings while avoiding balloons, and then land on a colored space. Uh, that corresponds based on the color to a number of rupees. Um, uh, and then, however, you get a multiplier for however many rings you go through. There's five rings total for a maximum of a ten multiplier. Um, and your goal, ultimately, if you want the piece of heart, is to go through all five rings to get a ten multiplier and then land on the, uh, the super special awesome space, which is a multicolored space. Uh, that is worth 50, so 50 times 10, 500 rupees. Yes, please. Let's do this. No, no, wait, we got it, we got it. Okay, before I do that, let me make sure that I am nice and centered. Which I am not, there we go. <laughs> so that's very important for this game. Alright, let's jump in the cannon. Um... But yeah, and then otherwise the green is is worth one, blue is worth five, and red is worth twenty, just like the just like the rupees are themselves. But then, like I said, there's a multicolored space, which is the one you want, and you want to avoid the brown space because then you get zero. Yeah, it's not terribly hard to avoid the balls and go through the rings as long as you're good at doing the free fall thing. Uh, the difficult spot is trying to line up. Exactly with the uh, the multicolored space. But then, yeah, you basically just want to kind of try to lead it, and I missed. I missed. Oh, I got zero. Oh, I was like, oh, I want it. I wish you could like dive, but unfortunately, yeah, that's a great way to start. See, like I said. Easy to go through the rings, not so easy to um, hit that multicolored space. Especially if, uh, if you know, you're, you think you're going to hit it, and then it's like, oh, it's just a little bit too high, and then by that time you can't really correct. And, yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Let's. <laughs> this could take me multiple tries. Like I said, it took me about four on when I was practicing. Um... But I didn't hit the loser space at all when I when I was doing the practice. So, with any luck, this may, you know this could be the could be the one. But if not, well, well, I'll probably just cut to the one where I actually win. I feel like the balls are really in my way. Oh, yes! Ha <laughs> In two tries! Okay, well, that was that was very not difficult, so... Okay, I think that's the, the shortest out of all the times I've played the game. I think that's the shortest number of times it's taken me to actually hit that, so... Yay! A special prize for me! Special prize for a special boy. Oh, good. Piece of heart. Oh yeah, now, okay, so then we only have four more pieces of heart, too, so that's nice. Alright, and we still get 500 rupees, so that's awesome. Alright, so now it's off to the, um, we need to go to the, um, the volcano area, the Elden, Elden Province, uh, for our next side quest item. Thankfully that one does not have a game associated with it, like, uh, some of the other ones that we are 
needing to do. We. Now, speaking of we and Nintendo things, man, uh, I'm recording this on. Oh, what is today? The 20th? And. The NX finally officially revealed. It was like, oh, I'm so, I was so happy. The Switch, I, you know, it's, it's not a bad name. I mean, it, it pretty much covers what the system does, and uh, I'm just glad to finally get, like, instead of it just being pure speculation, finally, base, you know, an official announcement and, and everything. I'm, I'm excited. It's like, uh, Mar you know, March... Um, seems like a pretty good time. You know, I can I can get I can get money together in that in that time frame. So, how about anybody else? Anybody else looking forward to the to the switch? Like I said, I I'm certainly certainly excited. I'll be glad to know like more details as we get closer to um, to March. I figure here in you know that was the teaser. I figure eh, maybe Mar you know uh, maybe um, December or so we might get more details. I think Nintendo will probably just give us little tidbits here and there. Um, but anyway, so back to this. Uh, we just dropped off in front of the Earth Temple, and there is the crystal ball that we needed, which I believe was pointed out the last time we were here. Uh, Fee, like, you looked over at it, or you know, it, the, the camera focused on it for, for a moment, and like kind of give you a little hint that, hey, hey there's a thing that there's probably going to be a side quest for. So this one, this one's pretty nice and you know pretty clear cut and easy. Just get the ball, you know. It's like right next to right next to a drop point. Drop point. So I like that. Stop yelling at me! I hate the douchey robot. It's like normally. There, there's there's decent sized periods of time between when you actually have to interact with him. But no, if I'm doing all these at the same time, then it's like, oh, here, you just talk to him. Here, talk to him again. And go talk to him again about something else. And it's like, ugh. He just makes me want to punch him in the face. And he's made of metal, so it probably would hurt. It's just not a, not a pleasant not a pleasant thing at all. Okay, and then at least this one's a little shorter to get back to Skyloft. We Alright, so then we need to go over in this area. Hopefully it'll drop me more or less in that spot. Okay, let's see if I can remember where where this guy lives. It's not there. Okay, I need it's around. I think if I come up here and go over here, I don't know if I pointed this out before, but uh, thankfully he, he has a little. Uh, there's a little round orb-looking de decoration above his door. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. One bright, shiny crystal ball. Special order for the creepy-eyed man. Bye, douchebag. Yep. I wonder if the other one was from the other side. I didn't notice if there was another, another one on the other side of that uh, entrance to the temple. Oh, for a special price, now you're going to give it to me for free. Maybe he does, I don't remember. Okay, so then we've got... Bing bong, 60! Four more to go, four more to go. All right, um, let me see. Let me pause for a second while I consult and see what I else I have to do. Okay, so we got that... Look at that one. Boop, 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 boop. Got that. One, two, three, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okie dokie, so I think instead of going to... So I think that side quest should be done at this point, or at least to the point where we can actually access the minigame now. I'm going to hope that I can uh, manage to have a decent performance at my archery skills. <clears throat> uh, instead of going off for another thing, since we're here in Skyloft anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pop over here... Uh, over on the other side of the freaking town here. And see if... Um, what's his face is... Old, um... Why can't I think of his name? Uh, Fledge. Fledge, that's his name. If he's... Yeah, here he is. Okay, cool. Since we had finished his side quest, got his gratitude crystals, but now... Um, we've unlocked a minigame... Sure. I'm pretty decent. He's already done more than 3,000 push-ups. The last time we saw him, he was like right on the cusp of 4,000 when we interrupted him. Okie dokie. Man, nobody really cares about, you know, pumpkins around here. It's like, eh, whatever. It's like, oh, let's just toss him around and then... You can shoot him with uh, with your bow. <laughs> After all the help that I provided, he won't even be one free play. Don't know about you, Fledge. You seem like a all that all that exercise went to your went to your head. Okay, let's see if I can manage. There we go. Good start. Basically, when he starts throwing them in other spots, that it gets a little more difficult. Come on, man. Easy 150 points right off the bat. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, and a bonus. Oh, I am on a roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, delicious. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Perfect score so far. Oh, man. I've never done this well so far. Ever. Oh, damn, I missed. Just as I said. Oh, wow, my name is two in a row. Oh, well, I've already gotten the score I need, so. hi -yah. Damn, I missed three in a row. Cool. Good thing you don't start, like, taking negative points. There we go. Now we got the rhythm back. Oh, damn it. Whatever. I'm going to hit 700 points, so... Come on, throw the freaking pumpkin! Oh, never mind, didn't get... Hey, 700 points, cool. Well, that actually went quite not quite nicely. I guess I got my my practice file paid, in, paid off in that respect. 700 points right off the bat, awesome. He's, he's very happy. Yes. Give me your heart. Your piece of heart. Ha ha ha. Yep. Not playing that again. <laughs> okay. So, since we are right here at the Knight Academy, uh, there is another quest line that we can start. Uh, if I can get up on top of the building. And then we'll go ahead and call that speed through these things as as we can. Actually made made pretty good time at this at this point. Just busting through these. Which is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Okay, so our next stop is Professor Olin or Owlin. And he has a bit of a quest for us. Yep, yep, the live last thing is all done. Thank you. Appreciate your help on that. With that, whatever. Up it up it up. Yep, yep, yep. Be sure, why not? You help me, I'll help you. Well, it's it's not a very big island, so that would make sense. 
I mean, I guess there's a lot of other small islands, but I mean, you got to be getting up there. You know, you're you probably had plenty of time to uh, explore them all at this point. I've explored them all, and I've only been playing for this for maybe 20 hours. I don't know. I don't even. I don't remember what my time was. <clears throat> blarty blarty blur. Yep, yep, wait, I've, I'm already caught up on all the things. Sure. It's a very general request for it to just be, oh, here, here, the, you want to set your dowsing target to a strange plant. It's like, hmm, where should we go for a strange plant, huh? Can't possibly imagine. I mean, you know, maybe the, oh, hey, what if we go to the woods? Can probably find something there. Okay, but I think that's going to call it for this episode. And uh, when we pick up the next one, we'll I'll meet you in Farron Woods, and we will uh, look for that strange and interesting new plant for Professor Olin. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye now.